everybody. Uh, Shazi is here. I'm not outside my mad science laboratory because it's cold as crap out there. What you're looking at is uh, the beginning stages of my neodymium magnet accelerator. There are two sets of coils. It's about uh, 20 turns of uh, really heavy gauge wire out of a, a, a microwave oven transformer. Uh, this one, this coil is, uh, they're alternated. This one's going that way and that one's going this way and so on. Then there's alternated back and forth all the way around there. But uh, right now I'm using simple little blinker switches from uh, an automobile just to uh, basically uh, show what's going on right here. So it's nothing impressive. That's uh, my field tester uh, built with the Hall Effect sensors and LEDs. Uh, I think you've seen that in a video before. But anyway, uh, I'm going to hook this thing up. And like I say, it's not really impressive because the coils need to be pulsed uh, a lot faster than what they're doing. But you notice it's got a pretty strong field around it. See if I can zoom in on the. You're gonna allow me to zoom. Anyway, it's supposed to be changing from north to south. It is to some extent. It's not moving as fast as it should be going. But that's because I'm just using a crappy little battery right at the moment. And it's not really charged up to its full extent. Trying a few different uh, sequences as far as the the inner coils are being pulsed uh, positive and negative uh, on this side, and then it's uh, positive and negative opposite on the other side. So it's pulsing back and forth from north to south. But anyway, that's just kind of a sneak peek of what I'm working on. So uh, whenever I get more. Uh, in depth into it you can see them coils over there moving around because uh, I had to take them apart and uh, I had them zip tied on there and they were pinching down on this tubing right here which if I can find a piece of it here this is a particular style of tubing that I use and then I have a uh, sphere neodymium spheres inside there and then also have nylon spheres as well see I underestimated the strength of those neodymium spheres and I was intentionally or intending on putting every other one uh, nylon sphere neodymium sphere and then a nylon and so on around and so they'd be separated but the uh, magnetic strength of the neodymium spheres uh, basically uh, stuck to the each side of that and wouldn't allow it to roll because there was too much so I ended up having to go as far as three of these uh, in between every neodymium magnet and so because of the circumference of this right here I've got about 11 neospheres in there I had 15 total uh, two of them <laughs> trying to get away from me two of them are uh, in there and the other two is over here I had 15 total but uh, so there's 11 ne neodymium magnets in there and what I need to do is build me a circuit to, to uh, pulse this let me get that squeaky no noise out of the way for a second I need to uh, make a circuit to the pulses in time with each other so I can get those things to spinning like they're supposed to be doing but either way like I said that's a sneak peek for you guys and I'll keep you updated with the uh, with the rest of them let me unhook this they don't seem to the coils don't seem to really get hot it's a little warm I can uh, put a uh, a light in between there which will uh, keep a lot of heat from uh, from the coils getting hot but you notice the magnets don't move as well. So on this particular side over here, 
notice the field's a lot stronger and using my AC detector you can see the field goes out to about there So uh, it's uh, taking energy off the battery, uh, pulsing the coils uh, opposite of each other, this side, then that side, then that side, then that side, via these two blinker switches right here, and the magnets, uh, you can't see them, but they're, they're spinning around inside of there. And when this battery is completely charged up, you can watch this thing pretty much walk across the table. Um, I played around with it too long, so it's not very exciting right at the moment, but whenever I get my updates, I'll show you that yeah peace and love everybody take care hello everybody oh Shazia is here if you notice outside I got a blizzard going on I don't know if you can see that very good through my security monitor there but that's my uh, car covered in snow and it's bright outside <laughs> yeah there's the uh, backyard right there lawnmower covered in snow in the shed but I'm out in my mad science laboratory and it's cold as crap out here and I ain't got my uh, wood burning stove going on right now, but I should turn my uh, my doggone solar deal on. Obviously, you can't use my wood burning stove because I made a workbench out of it, so I need to uh, readjust all that. <laughs> anyway, uh, working on this magnetic uh, ex magnet neo neodymium magnet accelerator. Excuse me for bumbling there, but. Uh, the uh, the thing is when it's all said and done when those magnets are spinning around in a circle like that one set of coils will be used to to uh, pulse the magnets and get them spinning and then the extra coils will be used to pick up that energy off the other side that's the simple of this just a little short addendum to uh, the uh, video there and of course I'm still working on the uh, plasma reactor and I got uh, things that are coming in the mail that uh, aren't got haven't got here yet some of them's coming from Russia and some of them's coming from China and so with that said they got to go through customs first so it's taking a while to get here and hopefully they won't get shut down before they do get here and you know it's not nothing that's uh, should be any problem they're just uh, little components and that kind of stuff but uh, anyway that's what I'm doing out here uh, when I get the uh, neodymium uh, ne neodymium magnet accelerator uh, up to uh, working the way it's supposed to be the way it was designed then I'll keep you updated with that and everything else so peace and love everybody hope you're staying warm so uh, we might be going into an ice age it's cold as crap outside and the wind outside is uh, like brutal man <laughs> It's like I watched the trees and they were all bowing over and everything and snow blowing sideways. So we're sort of in the midst of a blizzard right now. So anyway, y'all take care out there. Peace and love, everybody.